In this case, it depends on whether it's the man or the woman who, have the, who is positive for HIV. However, in both cases, what we need is that the viral count should be negative. So the, the virus must be undetectable before starting any kind of treatment. And we, of course, need the permission of the doctor that is in charge of those patients uh, so we can start the treatment to help them get pregnant. Uh, second, uh, it's true that in some cases the, the assisted reproduction techniques in this particular case are used because what we want is to reduce the risk of transmission of this in infection, especially uh, with regards to the fact that the man may uh, transmit the disease to the woman. And uh, then, depending on each case, uh, we may need different tests. For example, let's say that the woman is the one who is positive for HIV. As long as the uh, um, count of the virus uh, is uh, close to zero, there is no restrictions. You can have any treatment, okay, regardless of the problem of the HIV. So you, they can have IUI, they can have IBF, they can have egg donation. Because in women, the only real risk is the vertical transmission of the virus uh, and uh, the infection to the fetus. So if they are negative, well, you, we can start with a simple IUI to avoid having unprotected, unprotected sex between the, the couple, and that's it. With regards to the man, it's slightly more complicated because we know that the sperm may transmit the infection. So we need to wash the sperm before doing any treatment, uh, and this is something that is done despite having a low viral count in the blood. Uh, the main problem is that this wash uh, really damages the sperm and it makes it really worse. So the, 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 spermium, the spermiogram must be really good if you want to do an IUI. This is why nowadays most of the time we perform IBF in these patients. We first perform this washing, we reduce the low count of viruses that, that could be in the semen sample and then we proceed with the NICSI in order to reduce the risk of transmitting the infection to the woman. But the only strict condition that we need to fulfill or the criteria that we need to fulfill before starting is having a negative viral count in blood.